acquisition use case. According to the Institute of Mergers, Acquisitions and Alliances, the global value of mergers and acquisitions deals amounted to 3.7 trillion US dollars in 2019. There have been many prominent mergers and acquisitions throughout history. We have Walt Disney and Pixar, Google and Android, Exxon and Mobil, Verizon and Vodafone, and Heinz and Kraft Foods, to name a few. There are many different reasons why companies pursue mergers and acquisitions, such as asset or technology acquisition. To put it in simple words, they happen because one company that has the economic muscle to invest decides on acquiring another company with a competitive edge to lead the market, and together they have better resources and chances of growth in the industry. This is Paul. He works as a sales manager in a telecom company called Worldcom. They have recently acquired another telecommunication company called Telecom. After the deal, both the companies are strategically settling down into this change. Paul's director has asked him to coordinate with the sales manager of Telecom and work on creating a new consolidated customer repository for the company. He must present a detailed analysis of the customer profiles that the company has obtained from Telecom after the acquisition and identify unique as well as common customers between both the companies. After communications with the sales manager at Telecom, Paul finds out that the customer data from Telecom might not be updated and the records may have some missing information. So. Paul needs to put out a great strategy that integrates all the data that he is working with, along with transforming the data as required. Let's see how Paul can use Estera's enterprise to assist him with the tasks at hand. He has customer data sets from both the companies into Excel workbooks. Paul retrieves this data using two Excel source objects in Estera's enterprise. Now, Paul must identify whether the company has common customers. To achieve that, first he needs to unify both the Excel workbooks. He can use the union transformation in Centerprise. The union transformation combines two different datasets with the same layout. All records from both the datasets are returned as unique records. The records may or may not be duplicate. In this case, the output for the union shows duplicate records which indicate the common customers between both the companies. For better understanding, Paul uses a variable object to identify the source of each record in a separate field. For this, Paul creates a new field named source in the union object's layout and maps the corresponding values from the variable object to the source field in each dataset. Now when we preview the output, it returns the respective company name for each record in the source field. Similar records can be seen in the output showing that there are common customers for the companies. With this, Paul has combined the data from two different Excel workbooks, creating a single unified view using the union transformation. The next task that Paul needs to do is to create a consolidated customer data repository. After unifying the two data sets, let's use the merge transformation to merge the record of common customers. The merge transformation combines multiple records for a customer coming in from various sources based on a primary key and presents them into a consolidated record with complete information. Once we have merged the records, we have a complete and consolidated data set of distinct customer records. The final step is to load this data into WorldCom's central database. To achieve that, we'll use the inbuilt database destination object in Centerprise and run the data flow so that the data is populated into the database. 
We now have a consolidated customer database ready for Paul to present to his director. Corporations use various ETL tools in their daily business operations mainly to retrieve, transform, and load the incoming data to the specified destinations. Paul used Estera Centerprise to help him accomplish a similar task. Consolidated data enables companies to plan, implement, and execute business processes efficiently. With fewer processes involved in data retrieval, it gives better control and ensures faster planning and improved performance.